Hello, friends. How are we doing tonight? Welcome. I need to put this up higher, I can tell. How is everyone doing? Let's get all comments. Very good. All right. So hopefully YouTube will get those notifications out and um, some of our friends will join us for some crafting tonight. Why is this saying that I'm not on? There we go. All right. So say hello in the comments if you haven't already. Oopsies. Things are going crazy here. All right, so who is here? Let's see. Live chat. There we go. Rita and Shannon and Dinah and Patty. Hello, friends. Thank you for giving the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Hope everyone's having a great night. Happy Friday Eve. Hello, Stephanie and Antoinette. Welcome. Let me know, too, if this is your first time. Hey, Marlene. Hope you're feeling well, oh, thank you. Yeah, my daughter told me um, that she needs to wear this to school tomorrow. So uh, I don't think it's going to get washed before then, <laughs> but whatever. This is like our one uh, crazy sweater that we, um, that we pass around. Hello, Mary. Thank you for the Merry Christmas. I see we have some other friends on. Hey, Marie's on. And Pam, awesome. Okay, so um, I know some of you who are on here are already Magnolia creators on my team, but I wanted to do just a couple really easy uh, Christmas projects and also make sure that you know about the sale, the end of the year sale that will be happening on my Magnolia website the day after Christmas through the end of the year. So I chose to use two of my favorite Christmas stencils, Wise Men Still Seek Him and Jesus is the Reason. I'm going to kind of combine pieces of these for this these Dollar Tree stars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first wood glue them together. I like to do that because it makes them thicker and just a little bit more substantial. So I'm going to pull off the tags. You don't need to see me do this. It's not that exciting. And I'm probably just going to cut this jute because I'm going to put my own hanger in. So I have two of these and I'm going to wood glue them together so they're nice and thick. And then we're going to paint and stencil. And then I thought, you know what? I also have a couple of these snowflakes. So I'm also going to do a winter one with this stencil. I seem a little fuzzy. Does anyone else think I seem fuzzy? Maybe it's your internet, Mary. Anybody else having that issue? Gosh, I hope not. Last Thursday we had the, uh, the crackling sound. I don't want to have that again. Clear for you? Okay, thank you, Pam. So it's probably just your internet, maybe your Wi-Fi. Okay, great. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Mary, hopefully that'll clear up once it uh, once the Wi-Fi catches up to the video. Okay, so for the snowflakes, I'm going to also wood glue them and clamp them, and we're going to do Baby It's Cold Outside. I think I can get it to fit on. So let me do that. Um, not that it's very exciting to watch me put wood glue, but maybe you're curious as to why I do this. I just find that if, especially if I'm going to paint some of these Dollar Tree shapes, that um, if I don't double them, if I just use the single, sometimes they curl a little bit, like, because they're they're a little on the thin side. So you'll want to make sure you're lining up your hole for the hanger. And I'm just making sure these are right on top of each other. And then I'm going to take some of our little clamps. You can use the big ones too, if that's what you have. 
but I'm just going to put these on here just for a few minutes just to make sure that that wood glue gets the two pieces nice and together. Yes, it sure does, Marie. It does make it a lot more substantial and it's still only costing you $250, right? So still costing you less than if you, um, you know, had to buy a machine to make your own. All right, I think that's going to be good enough. I just did one on each of the points there. And now we're going to do the same thing with our stars, making sure I have them the right way so that the, the holes line up. I love wood glue. If you caught, if you guys caught my new video Monday night, I used a lot of this wood glue to build things with Dollar Tree wood items. And uh, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it, especially those of you that were waiting for my video on how I make my paste holder with the crates from Dollar Tree, because that is in that video. Now these, look at, see how they're kind of separating? This is why you clamp. And I might even use my big clamps on this one. All right. Let's do that. Let's use our big clamps on the star. All right. Okay, so wood glue, clamp them. This is gonna make some nice thick pieces. Now, let me come back up here while those are drying for a second to tell you about the sale, okay? So I hope I get this right. Fall, Halloween, and Christmas items. So stencils and possibly other items that are specifically those holidays or seasons will be 30% off. And select surfaces, which I don't know what they are yet, will be 40% off. That's from December 26th, the day after Christmas, or like midnight Christmas night, to the end of the year. As soon as January 1st hits, Eastern time zone, all those items will be off the website, okay? So if you wanna get Christmas and fall to start um, to have, to work on, maybe throughout the year to get ready for Christmas, so you have a little bit more time, I encourage you to be sure to check out, and I will be posting for sure on my Facebook page. So um, if you're not following my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page and you're interested in Magnolia, I encourage you to go over there and follow it. Otherwise, just make sure to go to my website on December 26th and you'll see everything that's on sale. Okay? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And... We also will have some new incentives coming for people who are interested in joining my Magnolia team. I'm very excited about. So let me know, send me a message um, if you have thought about it at all. I'm very low pressure. I'm not gonna try and twist your arm to do it. I just like to answer questions because people have joined my team purely to get their product at a discount. People have joined because they have a few friends that craft and you know maybe they can make a little money selling to some of their friends or they want to build a business. Like maybe they need some extra supplemental income and I can help you with all of those things. So let me know. Um, we've got some exciting things on our team that I'm going to be presenting this weekend to my team and also corporate wide with Magnolia. So Send me an email. All my links, by the way, are in the description of this video. It's my link tree. You just click on that one link and it'll give you my web, my Magnolia website, my Amazon storefront, my to send me an email, all those things. Okay? Awesome. All right. Now, I don't know. It might be a little soon. Oh, actually. Actually, our snowflake might be okay. Some of the places in the middle are like right here. But I'm not too worried because really it's going to be like hanging on a wall, right? So it would be, those spots would be kind of hidden. All right.
All right, I'm just adding a couple more on here for a couple minutes. But um, these clamps are very handy. If you are at Dollar Tree and you see them, uh, grab a couple packs because they're very handy when you're trying to glue things together. For these little signs, um, for sure these small ones, and then the big ones, like for the crate spinner that I made, um, this is the one I made on the YouTube video this Monday. I use, it's, it's one row less, or one column less than my other one that has all my paste jars on it. But um, yeah, these are very, very handy. Okay, let's see. Just wanna, that wood glue, and this, by the way, this super glue wood glue is from Dollar Tree as well, and it is amazing. I love this stuff. Hey, Brenda, welcome. Hi, Nancy. Yes, you did. All right, so let's get started. I've decided for the snowflake, I am going to paint it white. I'll probably just paint the fronts for now. Maybe I'll come back later and, and do the back if I decide I'm going to uh, maybe sell this next uh, fall in my craft show. Ooh, there we go. All right. So for the snowflake, let's just give it a coat of white. And this paint, this Waverly chalk paint is nice and thick. Probably I'm only going to need one coat. So how is everyone doing? Are we all done with our Christmas shopping? Is anyone making handmade gifts this year? I did give out a couple handmade gifts this year. Okay, so these should not take very long at all to dry. Yeah, I think one coat is going to be just fine. All right, so there's our snowflake. I'm gonna just set this over here to dry and stick that in my water. You're finished wrapping, yay! Yay, 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 that's awesome, Patty. I'm waiting for a few more things to come in the mail to be done wrapping, but for the most part, I have been done shopping for at least a week, I think. Okay, so for the star, I decided I'm gonna do night sky. Oh, that's awesome, Rita. I'd love to see pictures of what you made. I love this color, this dark blue. It's kind of a dark grayish navy. Now this paint, I might need two coats to cover the light colored star, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe one will be enough. All right, and if you're not aware, uh, a few weeks ago, I actually hit 100,000 subscribers here on my channel. So I'll give you a heads up. I don't know when I'm gonna do it yet, but I did receive my silver play button and I'm going to be posting a video, um, unboxing it, and also talking about a giveaway that I am putting together just for YouTube subscribers to my channel. So make sure your notifications are on, that they're set to all for my channel here so that you will know when that video is live so you can be part of that giveaway, okay? 
Awesome. All right. So I mentioned the sale, which starts December 26th. Good way to craft your stash. Oh, making gifts for people? Yes. Yes, 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 for sure. I agree. All right. Okay, so these will dry pretty quick. Let me, yeah, I think one coat, well, I see down here it's a little light. Maybe I can just touch up a couple spots because we're going to be stenciling over this anyway, so yeah, I think one coat is enough. All right, let's trade again. Let's get our snowflake. And we're going to use our little heating tool to speed up the drying. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Yes. I'm very excited. I did it in under five years. My goal was five years. So I was excited that it happened a couple months before that. Ah, <laughs> Patty. You think I'm organized. That's funny. It has happened in stages, I will say that. Definitely in stages. And right now the floor is, eh, it's not as bad as it has been, but there's some things that need to be put away. But it's hard because I did, I did an in-person workshop on Saturday night and then went out and then of course Sunday, you know, Sunday's super busy for us. Um, and now it's Thursday, and I still have stuff I have not put away, but I've been finishing Christmas gifts, and then Monday I was filming a YouTube video. All right, so when you paint your surface, you definitely want to make sure it's completely dry before you try to stencil. You went shopping in a huge mall. Awesome. Oh, good, Patty. You're going to make this spinning holder. That's great. What I love is you can make it as big or as small as you want. If you only have a few, just do like four crates on each side. The nice thing is you can always go taller. You can't really go wider. I am not hosting. Nope. It is just the five of us, which is just fine because on the 6th, Gary and I leave for the cruise. Um, so I would be kind of stressing out, but, um, yeah, we've got Christmas Eve services at church and then we're going to come back and just hang out. We will zoom with my parents and, um, then Christmas day, we're going to our friend's mom's house, but not till like the evening. So we are just going to take our time. Hello, Tita. Yes, it is nice and cozy for sure. Okay, so I dried it. Now I'm taking a higher grit. It's like 400 and I'm just lightly sanding just to get out, get away any texture to make a nice smooth surface for our stencil. I love this sweater, but the sleeves do not like to stay up for me. All right, then let's just brush it off. Okay, nice and smooth. So I don't know if your Dollar Tree still has these wood shapes. It's funny because I went like a week ago and I felt like they were still putting Christmas stuff out. Like their truck was late or something. Okay, now I'm going to be using my sweater as a tacky towel because I don't have one right here. Now, I lined this up, thought there was a way I could get the words to fit. Some of the words might go off a little bit, but let's try this. So this is Baby It's Cold Outside. Now, this is a winter stencil technically, but I think it'll still probably be part of the sale. I can't say for sure, for sure, but... I'm thinking, ooh, I stuck it to itself. Good thing I've used this one before. It's not as sticky. Okay. 
Now I can see my snowflake through. Mm. All right, so part of the B is gonna go off and part of the D and part of the S, but you can still, it's just part of the loopy parts. So I think what I'll do is I'm not gonna do the mittens. I'm gonna do the words and then I'm gonna do the snowflakes and then maybe move it around to do other snowflakes. So I'm gonna use Old Glory Blue. I love white and blue together for winter time. All right, so let's just do the words here first. Okay, baby, it's cold. Do you guys decorate for winter, like after after Christmas is done? Do you change over to like, I don't know, snowmen, snowflakes? Let me know what you guys decorate for. Cause I gotta know what to what to start making videos of now that it's almost Christmas. I think I do have some winter ones from the past here on YouTube. Okay, now what color should I do the snowflakes? Um, I don't have silver paste. I have silver ink. I don't want to use that. I could use gray. Or, ooh, I think I'm going to use dusky blue. It's a little bit different of a blue. It's kind of a grayish blue. Um, but it does need to be stirred up. I'm going to add a little distilled water here. You usually don't for winter. Well, I feel like winter can be a pretty long season here in Michigan. So I think at least for January, I'm going to decorate for like snow with snowmen and stuff. And then in February, I'll probably change it over to Valentine's stuff. All right, let's get another squeegee for our snowflakes. And then we'll see how there's space when we lift it up and see where we need to add more snowflakes. Oh, I know what I want to ask you guys. What are some things that you think would be good for me to give away for this, um, you know, this celebration for hitting 100,000? I'd love to know your ideas. Like, what do you think would be good giveaways, giveaway things? All right. Ooh, I like that dusky blue. That's pretty. Okay, so the baby, you can still see that that's what it says. All right, can you guys see that? Definitely some blank space that needs some snowflakes. So let's, I'm going to try to lay this down without. Messing up anything that's already there hopefully just add some more snowflakes around okay see I added just a few more snowflakes I think maybe up here let's do like this and this I'm trying not to let the stencil touch 
anything else. So cute. All right, maybe just down at the bottom, a couple more. I like when it looks kind of random. Let's spin this around and see. Have a couple kind of going off, going off the snowflake. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. We're very excited here because Naomi got the lead role in Mary Poppins. We're so excited. All right. What do you guys think about that? Isn't that cute? And that's just two Dollar Tree snowflakes. Okay, crafts made by me or a gift certificates from Magnolia. Okay. Now I did think about those as possibilities, but what about people who um what an idea for future videos? Okay. Big snowflakes and garland. Okay. <laughs> Like this really cute sign. You know what I want to do with this though? It's cute how it is, but if you know me, and this is going to be hard to do. I think I need a smaller squeegee. I want to go around the edges with the blue. I think that's what it needs. And maybe not all the way, maybe not solidly, but just a little bit. Can you see that corner right there? I just did a little bit of the blue. So I'm actually thinking about, I think tonight before I go to bed, I'm going to send an email to Dollar Tree. I don't know if anyone will even read it. But I'm just going to tell them, hey, my channel is five years old. I just hit 100,000. I do a lot of my videos using Dollar Tree products and sending people your way. Would you contribute to my giveaway? And just see what they say. But don't ask. The answer is no, right? Who knows? Maybe they'll send me a couple gift cards or something. That would be kind of cool. It could reward award some Dollar Tree shopping sprees to some people who've been watching my Dollar Tree DIY videos for a while. Okay, so I'm just using a small squeegee here and I'm just going around the edges a little bit with the same blue that I did for the words. And it does take a little extra time. It makes it look a little more, um, I don't know, vintage kind of. But definitely if it's not your thing, you just leave it plain. And it's just as cute. That's right, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I have to, if I, if I wanna possibly get a yes answer, I gotta at least ask the question. So we shall see. Um, I've reached out to a couple other of the companies who've sent me products to review on my channel to see if they want to, you know, contribute anything. And then, of course, I would be mentioning their name again. So we'll see. I just sent those emails today. So I'll be working on it. But I'm very excited to share that video. Okay. I don't know how close I can get for you to see. Maybe see a little bit of it around the edge. Yes, it does give it a finishing touch. I agree. I agree. Okay. Let's come back to our star. 
I can see our paint just needs a little bit of drying still. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll sand it lightly. And we're going to use two different stencils on this one. Yes, we are very excited about Mary Poppins. It's her senior year. This is what she wants to go to school for, is for musical theater. So we're just thrilled. She, it's gonna be amazing. And all the cast is gonna be amazing. It's a, it's a pretty large cast. Great ensemble, great choreography. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, we're not gonna use blue anymore or dusky blue. Whoops, I put the wrong lid on that. Oh no, I didn't. All right, so these colors were done. I'm gonna use gold. Let's see, I'm actually, now I'm thinking, I'm thinking gold and white. So what I wanna do is I wanna combine. I wanna have the nativity, and then I wanna have the words, if I can fit them, if I can fit, wise men still seek him. I don't know if I can. Oh, what if I put the nativity at the top? Yes, that's how I can fit it. Okay, I'm going to put the nativity at the top of the uh, star. And then I have room for the wise men still seek him. I'm not going to use the uh, wise men. So this is, I've used this stencil so many times. I think I'm going to buy another one of these in the sale uh, when it's on sale after Christmas because I need to have an extra one because it's one of my favorites and I've been using it a lot. All right. So I think I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do the Holy family here, um, in gold. So let's do gold glittering gold. Did anybody go see the new chosen Christmas special for this year in the theaters? I did. It was very good. Of course, I knew it would be. I feel like I need this star up here. Oh, I got a little of the paste off. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this back down. So if you do that, you can line your stencil back up. Go over it one more time. Okay, there we go. So there's our little manger at the top. And then I think for this stencil, I'm going to do white for the words, maybe gold for the word seek. And I'm going to do the stars. Any stars that I can fit on there, I'm going to do gold also. So let's just kind of tuck this behind. I'm going to fuzz it on my Snoopy sweater. This is probably another one I would go ahead and get an extra one of because I really, really like it. That is going to get all my words on the star. I might do some more stars down here as well. So let's do our gold first since we still have it out. I've got a big star. And I'm going to do the big word seek. in gold as well. Okay, 
then I want white. White for the words, the rest of the words. Why is Ben still and him? And then I bet you know what else I'm gonna do with the white. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, yes, Karen, what I was gonna tell you and anyone else is um, I just got an email today that they're actually releasing it on the Chosen app now. So you can see it on the app. You know what? I don't think I wanna add anything else. I don't think it needs any more stars. What do you guys think? I'm trying to grab it where I can show you. I think I like it like that. I don't feel the need to fill it in with stars like I filled in this one with the snowflakes. What do you guys think? But I am gonna go around the edge with my white. Maybe even a little more mess, messily, is that a word? A little more sloppily because I think it looks cool. I think I did one of these a couple years ago, but I used the ocean blue Waverly paint. I think I like this night sky even better. And I will spray this with a clear matte spray when it's all dry. So cute, so simple. I love that we can just take even Dollar Tree surfaces and add the stencil and the paste and just make something so unique and high-end looking. Okay, I think I'm done. What do you guys think? You would add more stars? Yeah, maybe once it's dry, once I clean my stencil. Don't, the hard thing is not getting the stencil to touch. That's what happened on the, on the, up here, is it touched where, it touched where the, um, where there shouldn't be a stencil. <laughs> Oh, Deborah, you should try. They're so fun. Literally, if you can spread uh, peanut butter or cream cheese on a bagel, you can use our reusable stencils. And that's what I love is they can be used many, many times. All right. So I think maybe over here, a couple of the small stars, maybe a big star and a couple more small stars here. Yeah. You could leave it as it is or add some more, add some more stencils or stars, I mean. All right, so that is it. I'm just gonna let these dry. I'm gonna spray them and then I'm gonna put a hanger back on them. So don't forget December 26th, the day after Christmas, on my Magnolia website, fall, Halloween, and Christmas items will be 30% off. Select surfaces will be 40% off. And that's only through the end of the year. And then those things will be in the vault off the website. Some will not be available anymore. Like this is what I made yesterday on Facebook using our Mrs. Claus Bake Shop stencil. This stencil is going away. It is not coming back next year. So if you like this one, um, I made it on a round. 
our um, one of our co-founders, Lisa, made it on the wood tray. It was really cute, too. But um, I just want to make sure you guys know about that. And again, don't forget, there are extra, um, I guess they'd be called signing bonuses. I don't know for uh joining my magnolia team so send me a message through my link tree if you are interested in learning more about that and i need to go wash my hands all right guys take care have a great night um there will be a new video on monday oh that's christmas hmm i'm gonna have to rethink that it might come out on tuesday instead of on monday so um Aw, Marlene, you're so sweet. All right, guys. Also, be sure to look for my unboxing video of my silver play button and the announcement of the giveaway. Have a great night. Merry Christmas, everyone.